Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk about things Halloween. All right. Now, I know you're going to see a whole bunch of programs with with witches and warlocks and fairy tooth, fa or whatever, uh, fairies and, and um, <laughs> uh, let's see, what are some of the other characters? Uh, you got warlocks, you've got, uh, oh, I can't think of all of them. You know, I'm getting old. What can I say? You're going to see movies and programs and, and things with magic and spells and voodoo and thrillers and musicals. You're going to hear all kind of stuff. Even cartoons. And it's going to look innocent. It's going to seem like just innocent fun. No harm, no foul, no problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because let me tell you, when you entertain yourself by things that glorify anything pertaining to witchcraft, anything pertaining to the occult, white magic, black magic, all of that, you think it's innocent fun, but listen, it's not innocent. It's demonic. I'm just trying to warn you. Don't let your kids play with anything. Don't pull out the Ouija board. That is a door to the demonic. If you wonder why some of your family members are having nightmares, experiencing severe levels of fear, why there's a sudden attitude change and somebody's temperament is volatile, rebellious, blatantly disrespectful when maybe it was nowhere near that bad before the Ouija board came in or before you went and played with tarot cards or called psychic hotlines or watched certain movies that glorify witchcraft, spells, divination, hexes, curses. Yeah. And it seems really, really, really intriguing. Some of you might even have people watching mass murderers who cut people up with chainsaws and, and go around just murdering and murdering and murdering on a murdering spree for the fun of it. And we watch it. Why? Because it's Halloween. Listen, you turn that, that channel. You stop watching that crap. Because everything you put in your body, your eye gate, your ear gate, everything will have an effect on you, your body, your loved ones, and your life. I remember I had rented a video and it looked really intriguing. I thought this thing was going to be almost like a mystery. I really thought it was going to be a great movie. And I started watching. There was a priest involved. It was a church. And I'm thinking, oh, we're going to overcome evil with good. And I watched a while, but it had an eerie feeling to it. And I said, okay, let me watch a few more minutes. And if I don't like what I see, off it goes. I had rented this video. It was about maybe 7.30 at night. The store closed at 9.00. I had just gotten the video and whoop, there it goes. I'm watching it. First 20 minutes and all of a sudden I already had that eerie feeling. But when they show the inside of that church, the priest walks in and over his shoulder, the camera is zooming in and panning the wall of the church. And I saw a cross. I said, oh, no. Oh, oh no, no. That cross ain't going to be in my house. You know why? It was upside down. And I knew from watching Trinity Broadcasting Network's programs on the demonic. I knew that was a symbol of the Antichrist. Anything demonic. Anything uh, that had to do with Satan worship. I took that thing out of my player real quick got in my car, 
and drove that video back to the store and told them no switch it for something else I will not watch it and I told them that's demonic I could feel it just started getting more intense and when I saw that cross upside down I knew that what I was feeling was right don't play you won't pay and that's all I got to say about that you guys you leave all that crap alone it's not as cute funny and harmless as you may think and it's not just entertainment. God bless you.